It's my last day in Venice, day five. So what I'm gonna do today is try and pick up all the attractions that I haven't done so far to try and complete the entire map. So there's certain sections we need to do. The one thing I really wanna try and do though is a gondola ride. But a gondola ride costs 80 euros. But I think I figured out a way to do it for 70 cents. Wanna find out more? Welcome to the ultimate Venice adventure. But before we go and explore the boat, let's go and check out some more churches and other things along the way. And if we get a chance, we'll do it. While we go. Yes, I've had a shave. Let's go. I've just come across this. I don't even know what it is, but it looks interesting. Looking inside. Oh, looks like some ancient Roman columns or something. Interesting. All right, let's continue on the journey. Okay, so this is Church of St. Stefano. This should be included in the Venice Pass. Let's go. Campo San Stefano, but when I went into the church, they didn't ask for any tickets or anything. So, I'm wondering if that's the right one. But there is something else over there. Maybe it's that one. Let's go take a look. I think this is the one because it's part of the chorus churches. Um, chorus churches are uh, like about 16 different churches that kind of group together and are part of the pass and says chorus there. So this must be the one. Ah, uh, San Vital. Okay, let's go in and check it out. Hmm. It says free admission, but they're actually doing a uh, concert tonight in here. So that's quite interesting. If you want to see some free music or something, just go out. You have to get some tickets, but yeah, it's good. I don't think the concert that's on tonight is free, but uh, there are free concerts in other churches and stuff, but I don't know what the price is for this one. But if you're into that, come on down, check it out. I'm going on to the next church. Let's go. Here we are. So this is uh, one of the churches we saw on the first day, but it was closed. So we're going to go and check it out now. It's Santa Maria. Del Giglo. I'm not gonna make any jokes about Giglo because that would not be good. So we're gonna go inside and check it out. So I wanna to get to that church over there. It looks a little bit like St. Paul's Cathedral. So the problem is we got this river in the way, the Grand Canal. Now, I could take the Vaporetto, which would take me across, but there's another way to get across. A gondola. So instead of taking uh, a 30 minute trip in a gondola for about 80 euros, what you can do is take one of the gondolas on a, it's called a traghetto. It actually takes you across the river 
and it's only two euros for tourists. But if you have the Venice Pass, they give you a discount and they give you the residential rate of 70 cents. Well, that's the theory anyway. Let's see if they give me the discount. Should be good. I'm gonna test it out. Let's do it. Okay, so I'll just check. The, the pass that you need to get the discount is the Venice pass, the one with the photo on it. I don't have that because I've got, I downloaded it online. So I've just got like a paper ticket so it doesn't obviously have my photo on it. So that means it's just two euros for me to pass. So let's give that a go. I've got my five euros ready. Let's do it. And if it's good, you might get a tip. So I'm on the gondola and I'm going to be heading over to the other side of the canal. I've given him two euros and a little tip. It's time to go. Okay, so there's the way this works, there's usually one guy at the front and there's one guy at the back. So this guy over here is the engine and obviously you don't have the gondolas yourself. You, they'll be transporting like as many people as they can put. It's usually about six people or something. So let's check it out. And away we go. On the river, it's pretty cool. So there's one guy on the front who's doing a lot of the steering, the guy on the back is doing All right, the pushing. All right, it's pretty cool. And um, <laughs> all we need to do is get from that side to that side. And that's pretty much the entire trip. <laughs> For two euros, you really can't go wrong. 70 cents if you're a resident or have the finish you pass. Amazing, let's go. And then once they've dropped you off, they just keep going back and forth across the river taking people. It's like a little kind of mini ferry service. Amazing. So I've done my gondola ride. So you need to check off the list and instead of paying 80 euros, I paid two, two euros. And if I had the photo pass, so you need the photo Venice pass, which I'm not actually sure how to get that, but you can do it for 70 cents. Anyway, let's go and check out the next attraction. Santa Maria della Sute. Salute. <laughs> Looks like St. Paul's Cathedral. Let's go in and check it out. Wish me luck on the way home. Ah, Captain Roger. So I'm right on the edge. Right there, it's the end of the walkway on this side. And over there, we've got uh, San Marco Square. You can see Campanelli and the Dodge's Palace. Over there, you've got St. George's Island. That's uh, I think like St. George's Chapel or something. We're gonna have to check that out. So that's quite interesting. And then there's a whole other island like on this side, which you can see over there. 
Okay, so I've done all of the south side. I'm now going to cross the river. I'm on the Academia Bridge. I'm going to go through St. Marco Square and then do the rest of the churches. So let's do that. In fact, we didn't do the Campanile, so maybe we'll do that one way. Let's check it out. Another famous person that went there, I remembered, is uh, Ernest Hemingway, I think. So, it's quite interesting. We're gonna go check out the tower. Uh, and maybe, afterwards, grab a coffee. At the Cafe Florian, why not? Let's check it out. So, over there, where you see the uh, two pillars on the ghost tour, what they actually told us is uh, they used to actually do executions in between those two pillars. And that's why it's kind of like uh, bad luck. Well, the superstitious initiates believe it's bad luck if you go through those pillars, so you don't do that. Uh, the uh, saying, uh, you know, I want to show you what time it is. The reason for that is the last thing that people would see when they were being executed would be this clock over here. So the last thing they would see is the time. Let's go into the tower. Luckily there's a lift. Let's go. What does it take? Let's see. The lift going down. About 20 seconds so far. 25 seconds. We're reaching the bottom. The door's opening any second now. 
You're looking at about 30 seconds from top to bottom. And probably the same the other way around. Oh, and the door opens. Let's go to Cafe Florian. Now you can tell that this is a very Shakespearean city. Because of the lack of toilets, you keep asking yourself to pee or not to pee. That is the question, whether you want to spend the one pound, one euro fifty or so to go or hold it in. Now, I need to go. Cafe Florian, do they have a toilet? And is it going to cost me a fortune to try and use it? Well, let's see how much the cup of coffee is. Let's go. Okay, oh, uh, it's Cafe Florian. Let's go. Yeah. It's a little bit on the expensive side. It was like about 10 euros for a coffee. Ah. Oh. Time for a nice little coffee break. Gonna have a cappuccino at Bar Verde, I believe. Yeah, Bar Verde Venezia. It's uh, a little bit behind uh, San Marcos Basilica somewhere. Uh, and on the way to San Zachariah. Now, this is apparently a church that has a crypt underneath it, but the crypt is flooded with the water. And that sounds really interesting. Sounds like something out of Indiana Jones. So I'm gonna go down there and check it out. But first, I'm gonna have a cappuccino, maybe a cake. We'll see, let's check it out. Ooh, it's a cappuccino, but first, I think I'm gonna go and use the bathroom. Um, I think it's a bit on the low side. That's my foot. <laughs> That's low. So, for Verdi, cappuccino, four euros. Not bad at all. And uh, toilet included. <laughs> all right, let's go on to San Zakaria. Or Zachariah, one of those. For the, uh, the crypt that is flooded. Let's check it out. is closed but underneath is the flooded crypt so when it is open you should go and check it out for some kind of indiana jones kind of action in the meantime go on north and start checking out some of the other churches and uh, museums and things that we haven't seen let's go Now Venice is known for its flooding and when that happens, you know, any building that's on the got a lower ground floor could very well get washed away. This bookshop, however, has come a uh, worked around this problem uh, simply by putting all its books in boats. Let's go in and take a look. Beware, that's a dangerous cat. Excuse me. So as you can see, it's uh, they even have a, an escape route made out of books. Yeah. 
Santa Maria del Miracoli. So let's go check it out. So on line two, going uh, north and around on a kind of uh, anti-clockwise way, and uh, we're going to see pretty much some of the uh, Grand Canal, and going to then start going around uh, Venice, go towards uh, an island called Bideka, uh, but we're not going to stop there, I think we're just going to go straight to St. George's Island, have a look at that, because I think that's the church that was used for Indiana Jones. So we'll go there, and then we'll go back to St. Marco. Maybe grab something to eat. And then that could be the end of our ultimate Venice trip. Let's check it out. So I've managed to find the perfect spot to do my drive-by shooting. So I'm right at the back of the boat. So let's see how many things we can see. Let's do it. St. George your time, let's go! So we're at St. George's Island. St. George's Church. Let's go in, take a look, and see if we can get up to the top of the tower. As you can see, it's a really beautiful church. Really, really nice. Now I just try to go into the, uh, the tower to go all the way to the top. Unfortunately, they only take cash. I've only got four euros left in cash and it takes six euros to go up. So they won't let me go. And I'm like, oh, what a shame. Uh, I've still got my travel card, but they don't even have cash machines here, so I can't get euros out. Oh. So if you're gonna come here, bring cash. What a shame, Never mind. Time to go back to San Marco. Okay, off to San Marco, just across the river from St. George. And uh, I've had an amazing holiday. It's probably been one of my favorite places to visit, to be honest. I've really, really enjoyed it. So before I sign off, I think I've got one last place to visit. So let's go there and find the home to the Bellini, Harry's Bar. So I'm here at Harry's Bar, and this is how they make the Bellini. Thank <laughs> you.
Thank you very much. That's amazing. Thank you. And so that is how you end the perfect ultimate Venice vacation. Harry's Bar, the home of the Bellini. It's great. I hope you've enjoyed the videos as much as I enjoyed making it. It's been an amazing holiday, probably one of my favorite, and I hope to come back again soon. I hope you've enjoyed it. Click that like button. And remember, if you're gonna be having a vacation, make sure it's an ultimate one. Until next time, goodbye.